Greece used to be the industrial hub of Yugoslavia, but times have changed. The city now has a dubious reputation as the vice capital of Macedonia. The locals are not happy. Of course I don't like it. It's ruining the reputation of Velas. They're killers. Anyone who deals drugs is a killer. The criminal world is deeply rooted. It has backing, maybe from the police. I'm worried about these rumors. The drugs have such power here in Velas and in Macedonia. A police video of a recent raid in Velas. Five suspected dealers are arrested. The authorities also seize a cache of drugs, money and weapons. The luxury cars of those arrested, now compounded, confirm the suspicion that the owners belong to the Frankfurt Mafia, a network that sells heroin and cocaine to addicts in Germany and, more recently, Austria as well. We're talking about a lot of people. Unemployment is a factor. For these people, it's just a way of earning a living. Unofficially, we have 400 people involved in drug dealing in Velas. But that figure is not official yet. We accompany a police patrol of local bars. The officers are on the lookout for underage drinking. It will hardly help them break a major vice ring, of course. The bosses are based abroad and have locals on the ground recruiting their own friends with the promise of a fast buck. Sociology professor Lyubya Luchkov is aware of how those targeted are so easily led astray. Three months ago, he set up an organization that helps affected youngsters and their families. Honest work isn't valued here anymore. There is no respect for the elderly or for punctuality or hospitality. All that counts is getting rich overnight. Getting rich overnight used to be out of the question here. The only way to earn a living was through hard work. Velis was home to factories that produced china, textiles and fertilizer. One metalworking plant alone employed 2,000 people. But the breakup of Yugoslavia led to the closure of seven big factories here. The unemployment rate is currently around 50 percent. What's even worse than the figure in itself is that around 80 percent of unemployed people are unskilled workers. That means they didn't even finish high school. But Sashko Ristovsky is unperturbed. He takes us to a new commercial park on the edge of the city. With foreign investors staying away, hopes are being pinned on Macedonian businesses. So far, to no avail. The mood on the street is anything but optimistic. This woman says unemployment's been at this rate for the last 20 years, and many people have no confidence in the future. So the prospects for Velas are far from promising. As long as the status quo prevails, the drug lords will continue to exploit the bleak prospects facing the local youth.